Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's doing well. I have a devotional for you. And this devotional is entitled, Who is Jesus? Now we're reading from my Bible, John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light but was sent to bear witness of that light that was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as were, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father. He has declared him. Amen. All right, that's the Bible reading. Now the devotional. While most people are familiar with the name Jesus, few truly know who he is. Yet knowing Jesus' identity and mission are important because uh, ramifications are eternal. And the best source of information about him is the Bible. Scripture tells us Jesus, Jesus is God. This means that he's eternal. He existed before his physical birth and even before time began. Jesus, the creator of everything that exists, is the perfect reflection of the invisible God. Our Savior had the power to forgive sins and was worth worshipped by his followers, both of which are appropriate only for divinity. Think about the omnipotent, eternal Son of God coming to earth as an infant. Imagine him laying in a manger made from trees he created and under the stars he made, he himself had strewn across the sky. Scripture makes it clear that this was no ordinary baby. 
The word also says there is only one way to eternal life, and that is through, G through faith in Jesus Christ as Savior. God has provided ample validation of his son's identity. Weigh the evidence and then return to Christ for salvation. Ooh. Amen. Yes. Turn to Jesus Christ for your salvation. Believe in him. Have faith, have faith in Jesus. All right. Hope you all enjoyed the reading. Hope you all got, got something out of it. And until I read to you again, God bless you all and goodbye.